So uh, this last section, choices equal the Riemann efficiency. I can't say that it's not important, but uh, in a way I feel that it's a less important concept than whatever we went through in uh, this chapter. So you can skip it or uh, you can finish it because this is the last video of the series anyways. So let's just get started. Choices equal the Riemann efficiency. Now, a consumer demand, a consumer's demand curve shows how the best uh, budget allocation changes as the price of the good changes. So consumers really get the most value out of their resources at all points along their demand curves. If there are no external benefits, uh, the market demand curve is just the marginal social benefit curve. And uh, a com competitive firm supply curve shows how the profit maximizing quantity changes as the price of a good uh, changes. The firms get the most value out of their resources at all points along their supply curve. If there are no external costs, the market supply curve is the marginal social cost curve. Um, yeah, so yeah, you, you pretty much know all this and you could just pause the video and read it. So let's just go through this graph and make this uh, video short and painless. So in a perfectly competitive market with uh, efficient allocation of resources, uh, this is what we have. Along the market demand curve, uh, along the market demand curve, which is this blue curve, uh, demand is equal to marginal social benefit. So consumers are efficient. And along the marginal, uh, the market supply curve, which is this red curve, uh, supply is equal to marginal social cost, producers are efficient. So Really, the quantity uh, Q star and the price P star are the competitive equilibrium values. So competitive equilibrium is efficient um, in this situation. And you know it's efficient when the total surplus, which is the sum of the consumer surplus plus the producer surplus is maximized. And it is maximized when we have this case where things such as dead weight loss do not happen. So when, when our uh, consumer surplus and our producer surplus completely fills in uh, their respective triangles up to this uh, limit, which is our intersection point. And at that point, we know that there is efficient allocation. And um, I hope you like this, enjoyed the series, and I hope it actually helped. Uh, and um, yeah, this is it for this series and the end of this chapter. I don't know what else to say other than please rate, comment, subscribe. I won't tell you to go watch the next video because there isn't a next video. Uh, this is all I know and I've done what I wanted to do and passed on knowledge to uh, pe you people who are watching, actually watching my video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, uh, thanks for your support and I hope you guys will continue watching my other videos and the videos I will make in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the near future.